I was very pleased to see that Repsenda Dominitz is honored in this week's Jewish Tribune and Hamodia. And his daughter, uh, Shane D. Weinberger, writes very nicely, beautifully written. In both things, they're both more or less the same. Just the stupidity of the uh, British, the BTs, the British Hamodia, the Jewish Tribune, who is done by BTs, they've taken out a sentence. They've taken out a sentence which is written in Hamodia. There's nothing wrong in really honoring Repsenda Dominitz's wife. Repsenda is also remembered together with his Aishas Chayel, Chaya Sarah Oliver Shulam, Bas Yehuda El Yochim Getzel, Sechoyne Vlucha, for his open house in London and Manchester. These words, together with his Aishas Chayel, Chaya Sarah Oliver Shulam, Bas Yehuda El Yochim Getzel, Sechoyne Vlucha, is taken out in the, in the, in the uh, Tribune. Why? Because they think anything to do with women, you mustn't write. Anything to do with me. It doesn't matter where. It's exactly the same story as I remember once. There was a lady in Craven Walk where the house was on fire. And she said to some people, she was upstairs in the bedroom. And she said to some people, catch me. I'm jump, jumping out. And what happened was they were all standing downstairs, out, downstairs. She jumped and they all moved away. And she fell on the stones and she broke her, broke her legs. Because they wouldn't happen because they were frim. They were frim because of the other person. This is how this attitude Hamadiyah is run by Chassidische Chaydishin and understand when you have to be mechabed. Rabbi Dominitz who was was mechabed his wife. Of course, he was mechabed his wife, but his wife was such a sacrificer to his style of life. You can't imagine. I was by the levaya of Rabbi Dominitz's wife, this Eishes Israel. and Rabbi Dominitz in the middle of the levaya, middle of his own grief, in 43 years by Dest Road, outside in the street, he took out, he took his head. He started singing Masputa and he says, yes, I'm being Masputa, but she won't, it won't disturb her when I suddenly I'll say, I need 2,000 pounds now together for my, to, for my uh, Joachim or wherever this poor that place is, for his Balachubis, what he's raising funds for. And he put, took out his head and went around in the middle of the Leviathan, in the middle of the husband of his wife. He said, my wife will understand me. That's what's called the Aisha Schail, a woman who understood and could live with such a man who was such a dedicated man to be muscle in. There's also something which she writes in the story which is not exactly correct. This is, at the time of danger he made an aid that if he survived the war he would help people who were in distress financially and spiritually. I remember once, Rabbi Dom, I remember Rabbi Dom, it's very long time ago because we lived near each other. We lived in Allerton, uh, in Queen Elizabeth Walk 53 and he lived in number two Allerton. I remember Rabbi Dom, it's over 60 years ago, even more. I remember Rabbi Dom, very well because he, he was my Trebbe, my teacher. But there's something I remember very, very important to tell it. And that was Rabbi Dom, once said to me, I'm making a, a, a Sudas Hador in Pintus one night. Come along there, I'm going to give, uh, make a suda to the door. I said, what's so important? You'll hear what I've got to say. And he said, and suddenly he got up by the suda and he says, when I came to England over 50 years ago, I was the only survivor for my family. And I was sent through the kinder transport to a fry family in Leeds, I think it was. And Rabbi Dominic said, you know, and I felt bad. They're not practicing Yiddishkeit. And I turned around to the Rebbe Shalom and I loved him to the Rebbe Shalom. Rebbe Shalom, I'm the only one left of my family. I was a young boy of 16, he said to me. He said to the Ganser Oilem, that not only me. I was only a young boy of 16. And I wanted to survive, that Yiddish guy should survive. So I turned around to the Rebbe Shalom. Rebbe Shalom, if you take me out of here and give me a Yiddish family, I promise you that all my life, whatever the situation I am in, I will run to bring Yid nearer to Yiddish guy. He was so to bring fantastic Yid. I don't want to mention names here, it's not right. Fantastic Yid is nicht kavort. Fantastic Yid, who are today one of the Gedoyle Yisraelim. Gedoyle in every Chesidis you can find him, in every literature place you can find him medium of Rabdominus, who were really not even from children, not even from children. I don't want to mention names, and I don't even remember Ramis saying who it is, because you might understand, but I know definitely of that. And Rabdominus said, I practiced this fifth Gorbanshul, thank God, I've had hard times in Panusa, I dealt in electrical things in Panusa, a rabbi teacher, and a rabbi in Chayden, a whole lot of things in Panusa he tried. 
which it wasn't very successful. It was successful sometimes, it wasn't successful. And I've kept my word, but I've never let down my word of being Makarvid in Tzidish Kreit, over 50 years already. And that's what I'm celebrating uh, tonight. And what happened was, when he said that Phil and asked Rabbi Shalom, Rabbi Shalom took him out. What happened? A Yid called Shleim Tage, you can ask the children who remember still Shleim Tage, it's English, took him, went, came to Leeds, saw him there the next day, and took him out and brought him to London, and he was able to be Makarvid in Tzidish Kreit. It's a pity that we don't respect and um, really thankful to the Hamburgia and the Tribune and even the up midweek I have seen the news sheet up other places that who have made complete pages on respecting such a man who deserves our gratitude and had us here to live in London. I live with other Eden in the same street, Rabbi Feuerstein, who I learned afterwards, but to have us here for such a man who didn't know no as an answer when he came to Merkarev Ayid to Yiddishkeit. This was before Lubavitch and all these other things. And he brought in, I can't mention the names, I'm holding myself back for mentioning the names, but if you ask, you'll find out, you'll see. And you won't believe that these are a drabber dominances, Medium.